Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Hard Truth. Thank you so much for watching. Today's exciting episode has to do with part one, where we talked about a snuff film possibly being at least one of the motives, if not the motive, for the Idaho Four crime. Although some of you may say that a snuff film is a stretch, well, our research shows that it very well could be a motive, if not the motive. And in this episode, I'm going to give a few more points that support the theory that this was all planned and it was all staged. Okay, so grab that coffee, grab that nice sweet tea, throw up your feet, and hey, let's begin our story. In part one, we talked about the tripod with the video recorder in the woods behind the house at 1122 King Road. Okay, and so Nick Ravis posted that there was indeed a video camera that was recording from 8 to 8, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. on the night of the murders. Okay, and so if there was a camera video recording at the time of the murders, okay, just a few feet away in the woods, there's no more room for coincidence in this case, all right? If there was a camera in the woods, it's not so far-fetched to believe that a snuff film was the motive because there, there are people filming, people dying, people dying of violent, horrific deaths, okay? So cameras and people dying I mean, if you add them together, what what do you get? So I want to talk about some other things that coincide with just speculation that the, the 1122 King Road murders could have been, uh, the motive could have been a snuff film, all right? And not just because of the victims, and the evidence that's been presented uh, thus far, also because of the home itself being a target. And that's something we talked a lot about in the live, how the address itself has a pretty rough history, okay? And as I said before, I don't think we have any more room for coincidence. Okay, so let's look at the new evidence. What do we have to show that the Idaho four victims, Maddie, Kaylee, Ethan, and Zanna, were a part of a snuff film that this entire episode was planned and that the victims uh, were predetermined. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay, first I wanna talk about uh, the rumors that there was internet or Wi-Fi outages that night because if there was a, a snuff film and there were people recording, all right, Video, uh, cell phones are being used, okay, and reused. And so there's a lot going on on the networks. And I'm just wondering, you know, if the internet outage or the, I mean, that's a service interruption. And generally, from a computer science perspective, any internet outage is like a service interruption. And a service interruption you know, a lot of the times is malicious. So I was wondering, is, was the outage malicious? Exactly what times were uh, the outages and what time did it happen? I've been looking for information about it so that I can document uh, the event. If I believe that ties into the snuff in theory because, I mean, it just screams that something was planned and that here's another distraction, you know, here's another distraction so that we can do what we want to do over here, okay? It could have just been something to keep everybody distracted, you know, because, you know, people go crazy when they don't have, you know, they can't use Wi-Fi or whatever. 
So that, to me, that was just another distraction. And it also screams that this was just completely planned. You know, it's not somebody that snapped and went and did something out of a moment of passion and anger. It's more than that. It's, you know, it has design. And so that just speaks to me, multiple people planned and not, not just in 24, 48 hours, but to, it was planned. Okay. Everything about it is was planned. You know, they caught Kaylee there. She wasn't even supposed to be in, at the house. They caught, a, you know, they caught a lot of things by coincidence. And so that's what I have to say about the internet outage. The second thing that I want to point out is some photographs supposedly of the house, the kitchen cabinets after uh, the murders. Looking at the blood on the cabinets, I, I mean, I could be mistaken, but if Maddie's room is here on the other end of the house, then, and if Maddie and Kaylee were killed in Maddie's room and there was no blood in Kaylee's room, then how did the blood get on the cabinet in the kitchen? Okay, I can understand the seep from the room above, but that would have to be Maddie's room, you know, for it to have, you know, for both of them to have been assaulted in the same room is what I'm saying. So both of them were assaulted and, and, and murdered in Maddie's room, and Maddie's room is on the other end of the, of the house. Why is there blood up here on this cabinet? It's like somebody may have put it there for effect. So that really does tie into a snuff film because if there's blood seeping from the kitchen cabinets, but nobody was killed in the kitchen, nobody was killed in the room above the kitchen, then it had to be put there as stage for effect. Okay, so what do you guys think about this one? First of all, do I have the rooms right? Is this is this room above the kitchen Kaylee's room? Because I may have to go back and dig in to my information, but I believe it was Mr. G that said there was nothing on Kaylee's bed no blood in her room. The dog was in her room. And supposedly the dog didn't have anything on him. So there couldn't have been any blood in in Kaylee's room. If the dog was locked in there and he didn't have anything on him. So how did the blood get in the kitchen unless that's not Kaylee's room above the kitchen? Which I believe it is her room. All right. So I'm asking you all because I could be wrong. I've gotten it wrong before, <laughs> but I don't, I think if this is Kaylee's room above the kitchen and Maddie's room is on the other end, there should not be blood on the kitchen cabinets because I, I'm, am, am, is, it, is it me or am I looking at this wrong again? Because it just seems to me like that blood would have to be staged if it didn't seep down from the third floor, if, you know, the girls were killed in the same room. And that was Maddie's room, where they were found and supposedly sleeping. All right, so we have to figure this one out.